Hey everyone, Mike here, KMRD uh, Radio Stuff. Just got in the mail the new PowerWorks, or new to me, the PowerWorks uh, Power Pole Distribution Block, I think it's called, the 8 pin, uh, 8 power pole dealio. And then I got the, uh, the voltage meter, the battery, uh, the inline battery voltage meter thing, so we're gonna check that out. Kind of working on a go box here uh, for, I'll probably end up making an NHF and a VHF one, but. For now, uh, I'm just kind of acquiring the parts. So these are the next parts that I have. Uh, I've been waiting for about uh, six days for them to come in from California. I ordered them on the 14th, and it is the uh, 20th now, so <clears throat> of March 2018. Uh, so we're gonna open those up and see what they look like, and hook everything up, and uh, nerd out with ham radio. Stick around. All right, let's open this guy up. That's my little Smith & Wesson M&P uh, knife. Spring action, this thing's awesome. There's like a little button here you can pull or you can just move it out like that and it's just spring loaded. It's got a tr uh, safety here like you would find on a gun. <clears throat> so that's pretty cool. And then, it, you know, the safety's on so you can't open it. And then it's like, oh wait, look at me. So here's the bag. Let's see, uh, we'll open this up here. I doubt I can do this one handed. So we'll come back in a second. Okay, what's in the bag? Well, first thing here, I forgot I ordered these. These are uh, these are just little clips to keep the power poles connected, so you can connect two together, and they won't worry about uh, separating accidentally. Those were like I think fifty cents a piece here. Let's get that in there. These are the PowerWorks retention clips for. Yeah, well, you can read. Uh, so that's what that is. <clears throat> Und Zen. I'm opening this for the first time. Ah, there it is. That's what I ordered. That's the PowerWorks Papa Delta 8. The 8 pin power pole distribution block, as it's called. So I was think I wanted to build one of these myself. Um, but truth be told, I am the world's worst solderer. Uh, I know there's some kits online that you can get for 50, 15 bucks or so. Um, but I just wasn't having it. So I'm like, all right, well, how can I do this cheap? Because something like this shouldn't cost a lot of money. And being a ham, you know, we try and uh, just figure stuff out. So I went down to Home Depot or Lowe's or one of the two. And was kind of looking around at like the electrical parts and plumbing parts and seeing what I could make. And at the end of the day, the parts that I found weren't horribly different in price than what buying this already was when you factor in the wire and things, buying a whole spool of wire and all that. So I ponied up the 35 bucks for this one. Um, I went with the eight connector. They do make a four connector, I believe it is, but I figured go big or go home. It's 35 bucks. The four connector, I think is like $23.99. So pretty inexpensive compared to the uh, the West Mountain Radio stuff that looks really nice. Um, it has fuses and stuff. I could care less about the fuses. All of my stuff has fuses in line already. So I just want to be able to plug my power, in, my, my power source into one of these and then power everything else from it. So that's the idea behind that. Uh, let's see what else we have in here. Eh, who cares about paperwork? Eh, maybe there's a sticker in there. Who knows? The X Engineering sends stickers. And then we have the PowerWorks Precision Watt Meter and Power Analyzer. That's what it's called. Uh, so pretty excited about this. This will let me know uh, where my battery's at so I don't over uh, or discharge it too much. Um, I really don't know how I'm going to configure this all in the uh, go box yet. I have some ideas. Uh, I still don't have the radio. That's my uh, Yesu uh, 450. Uh, it'll fit in the box. I'm using a little, uh, I don't know if you watched my other video, the Bofang go box. Um, the, the case from uh, Harbor Freight is probably what I'm going to put it in. I'm looking at the Yaesu uh, 891 as a portable option, though. Um, so that's kind of what I'm, what I'm wanting to go with. So I'm going to open these up. Well, here, we can, we can do the unboxing of this here real quick. Let's see. Let's, let's see what's in the box. We can't do it one-handed. 
Okay, so it looks just like the picture on Amazon. That's it there. Power works. <laughs> Load. <laughs> Plenty of Beavis and Butthead fans. Uh, so that just plugs in with the power poles in line, and uh, we should be able to see voltage, amperage, load, watts, all kinds of stuff with this guy. No clue how to use it, uh, but we're going to go ahead and plug it in and see what happens. <clears throat> anything else in here? User manual, that might come in handy for when I screw it up later. I don't know if I got that in there, the user manual in there. We are men, we don't read those. Not until something starts smoking. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna open all these up and uh, figure out what the heck I'm gonna do. That's the battery right there uh, that's currently being just trickle charged. I got this from, I think, Batteries Plus. It's a Duracell, uh, just an eight amp AGM sealed lead acid battery. Um, but I already have a pigtail for power poles. Uh, immediately cut the alligator clips off of this and made that power pole. So here you can see my power supply for my Yesu uh, power poles. This is the power supply for my VHF. Uh, I promise it's hooked up to power poles. Okay, so first I wanted to do the power works. I wanted to just show this because there's really, I couldn't find anything on the internet other than on the power works website where anyone kind of showed these off, talked about them, whatever. It's only about five seconds after I took it out of the packaging, so you guys are learning right here with me. Um, I did inspect it ever so slightly. Um, it's, it's, it seems pretty decent, nice and rigid. Um, it is, it kind of just feels, um, sorry, kind of just feels all plastic. Um, there is, you can kind of see the shiny, it's like there's a resin inside here to kind of seal everything up, so that's nice. Um, seems a quality build. It does have some weight to it. Um, and that's, uh, I, I'm like super geeked about this. I, you know, it's <laughs> more geeked about this than a lot of things lately. Uh, for, a, for a stupid little uh, connector there. It's not stupid though. Sorry, power works. It's cool. Um, so the idea is take your battery, plug it into, get it right, one of these terminals there so now that's powered and now I can take my VHF rig my uh, a uh, or my HF rig <laughs> my VHF UHF rig both of which are unplugged because I'm gonna plug them into this here in a second um, have everything powered off of this have this in line and uh, really know what the heck is going on so let's uh, well what the hell let's let's plug this in Sorry, I'm just filming this on an iPhone, so <clears throat> have a heart. All right, so red to red, black to black. Hey, look at that. It works. 13.8 volts, zero amps. We're not drawing anything. I imagine that voltage is going to go down. This battery drains pretty quick initially, but uh, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, da, 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 da. How do I really want to do that? I really need to have this plugged in before that. That needs to go first. So let's do that. Okay, so I've got everything hooked up now. Pardon the mess. This is just a test run here because I'm just <laughs> I'm just geeked to hook this stuff up. So right now everything's plugged in. Nothing's on. Um, <clears throat> current battery's at 13.6 volts. Not sure why it's pulling. Oh. This little guy here, I picked this up from a store called Meyer. Uh, it's a cigarette lighter and two USBs, so that's that's pulling a little bit of a little bit of stuff here. So, got my HF rig. This draws, I think, about a half amp on standby. Surprisingly low. That draws a half amp. So let's fire these up and see what happens. Let's do this one first. There's the, that's the TYT TH9800. So now we're drawing 0.3 amps. So that's pretty cool. Obviously there's nothing going on. Let's see if we turn on the light. If that makes much of a difference. 3.5, three, 3.3, three, three. so not really. Adding, adding the light uh, at full blast. Uh, doesn't really, 
doesn't really affect the power. Now, yesterday I did a I did a test on this with just the battery, and this radio turned out. I had this radio on uh, just on receive all day for like 12 hours, and this little 8 amp battery was still at like 12.3 volts when I went to bed at about midnight last night. So. Um, that's either something good to say about this radio or this battery or both, uh, but I'm pretty happy. Oh, these little boogers. These are the little clips to keep. So what you do is you, what you do is you insert them in there in the holes for the power pole and then they don't separate. Because power poles, they, they, they kind of stay together. You know, I don't have any of these clips behind my, behind all this cluster of mess here. Um, and I haven't had anything come out, but I, I do actually want to make an antenna with these that I can separate um, a 20 and a 40 element uh, just using these. So just basically ex ex extending the length of the antenna with just a power pole. Still figuring out how I'm going to actually do that because I only want to use one side of this. Um, but we'll figure that out. Okay, so we're at 0 0.33 amps with the Yesu knockoff TYT and the cigarette lighter slash USB charger thing. Now... Uh, the, the tuner is not powered, this light here is not powered by the battery, but that reminds me that now I, actually that's AC, so that can't be, um, no, it is DC. I might could do that, but I don't really, I don't really have any plans on bringing this tuner out with me. Um, I would rather have antennas that are tuned than to have a tuner. The only reason I have this is because when I bought this radio, this came with it. I got a super deal on it. The guy that sold it to me was awesome. Um. And this tuner came with it. I only have a 4020 uh, dipole. It's a fan dipole, a two element fan dipole that I run this. And I'm, I'm pretty much perfectly resonant on 40 and 20 and also 15 and six. But it is nice. I can use the tuner to get on like 18 meters or um, not 18 meters, 17 meters um, and other bands, 12 and 10, whatever. Um, so it, it is nice to have, but just going out with a, with a portable rig, I don't think I'll bring this. I could, it's super light. It doesn't hardly weigh anything. So anyway, let's turn this guy on and see what we get now. Now we're drawing 1.2 amps. Let's see if we turn the panel out or the speaker up here. So that's about, that's about halfway on the speaker. 1.3 amps. That's not bad. It's not bad at all. Now I haven't put, uh, let's see if I can get a signal in here. Um, I haven't put a load on this battery with my HF rig yet. Maybe let's do, let's bring this down to CW real quick. Let's see what, I'm not 100 watts. I don't think that'll ever happen. Uh, let's bring this down. And I can probably safely operate about 25 watts, I think, on this battery. I really have no clue. <laughs> so let's find out. So I'm, under my foot, I've got a foot switch. I use a, uh, oh, by the way, if anyone from Coke is watching, bring back the Coke with the real sugar. There is a market for it. We like it. I'm a musician. I've been a guitarist for like 25 years. So I just so happen to have microphones lying around. This is a Shure SM58 vocal microphone with the Heil uh, adapter to the Yesu 8 pin uh, and back there you can see there's a quarter inch uh, mono that goes down to the floor where my, I don't know if you can see it, it's right there, um, my foot switch away from VHF. So we're on CW right now on whatever I just put 25 watts so let's see what we get for the amp output, output on battery power. Woo, 99 amps. Wow, 10.9 amps. That's crazy. That's going to drain this battery something fierce. Well, it is going back up slightly. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I really don't intend on using this radio. Um, although the, the 891 that I'm looking at buying does draw quite a bit of amperage. I don't think it draws that much at that uh, power. Though. Let's bring this down... Realistically, I'll probably let me turn my repeaters down here. Uh, maybe 15 watts. So let's see, just for giggles, what we get on 15 watts. CW, battery power. 
9.18, something like that. Jeez. At 15, okay, so maybe let's drop it down to 10 and see what happens. Let's just, let's just go all the way down to 5, screw it. Oh, there it is, there's 5. No, this is CW, so it's going to be probably higher, I would guess. 6 amps, 6.74. Sucking up that juice. <laughs> Man, this was at 13, what, 13 eight when we first started this video, like 10 minutes ago. That, I don't think I'll be doing much uh, HF on this battery. But I gotta get solar panels and stuff. This is just kind of the first little uh, soiree into all this stuff. Just got it, so I'm gonna take this box here that I got from Harbor Freight for like 30 bucks. This is the big, the big fake Pelican case. This is the big one. You can see, kind of compared to the battery size. So in here, I wanna put the, I wanna put that USB cigarette lighter thing right here. I'll probably have the battery here and the power pole distribution block here, which gives me all, all this room to do activities for um, the 891. I may actually end up making this um, a VHF go box. I just don't see myself going to a park to talk on VHF though, so I don't really have quite the sense of urgency to do that as I do the, the, the HF. So, I mean, HF is way more fun anyway because you can work all over the world, even though the bands are dead. Um, well, mostly dead. There's some bit of life in there. So yeah, that's just the Pelican knockoff case. As hams do, you have to label everything with your call. Not sure why, but that's what we do. I learned it from my dad. Um, so that's about all I got. If you got any questions, throw them in the uh, comments. Um, oh, the power works, uh, this thing, whatever that's called. Uh, this was like 50 bucks, I think. So for the two, this was 35, this was 50 plus shipping. It was like $99. Um, so not terribly expensive, not terribly cheap, but a lot cheaper than buying uh, the rig runners and things like that. I think I will be getting one of those. Turn that down. One of those at some point when I, when I start to get into like solar charging and stuff, I wanna have one of theirs. I forget what model it is, but um, something to do with solar charging. So anyway. Uh, that's my video. Hope you enjoyed. Like and share. I want to say thank you to Tony K9ARV for kind of inspiring me to do some videos. He's awesome. He's kind of hopefully inspiring more people to get out. Uh, it is March 20th, the first day of spring in Michigan. There's still snow on the ground. I'm originally from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, so I do not like the cold, so I'm not going to get out there until the weather breaks, but I've got some time to build this box. Um, I want, you know, Hosh Nassi, Signal Search, um, Survival Tech Nord, all those guys kind of have inspired me to do my own thing um, and rip off of their videos. Videos by Mike also is super awesome. I spent most of the day watching his videos yesterday, so uh, it was my day off. So uh, just been kind of screwing around with this stuff. So anyway, seven threes, uh, and we'll see you on the next video. This is K8MRD. I'll be clear.